Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this acceleration problem, they tell us that we have a flea that is jumping with a takeoff speed of one meter per second over this distance, and they want us to figure out what the acceleration is, and then how long that it takes the flea to leave the ground after it starts pushing off. Now, this problem is interesting because it's different than ones that we've done so far, because if you look at the acceleration formula, which we know is the change in velocity over the change in time, we don't have any time given in this question. All we have is the takeoff speed, and then we have the distance. In this case, he's jumping up, so it's a delta y. So what we're going to have to do is look to the kinematic equations to figure out the acceleration and then the time that it took for the flea to jump off the ground. So if we look at the kinematic equations, we have the velocity, and we'll say that this is v final, because we're going to assume that the v initial is zero because it's jumping off of the ground. So we'll put that here, v initial is zero meters per second. We're trying to figure out the acceleration and we're trying to figure out the time. And we have a distance, which we said was delta y, which is 0 0.5 millimeters. So now when we look through the list of the four kinematic equations for the y direction, we're looking for one that has everything except for time. So we need one that has velocity, acceleration, and delta y. So the one that we'll be using is this right here. So v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2a times delta y. Now your professor may give you this formula with this all part the same, only we have minus 2g delta y. This is a common version that's also given. I like this one here because it's easy to recognize that you can substitute g in for the acceleration, but sometimes it will trip up students and they're not sure if they should use a positive or a minus. We have the minus here to account for the negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we'll be using the first one. So now we need to rearrange the formula here to solve for acceleration. So we've already said that the initial velocity is zero, so this can go away. So we have v final squared is equal to 2a delta y. Now we're going to isolate a by dividing both sides of the equation by 2 delta y. Now the 2 will cancel, the delta y will cancel, and we'll be left with acceleration is equal to the v final squared over 2 delta y. So now we can plug in our variables into this equation right here. So we have acceleration is equal to the final velocity, which we said is 1 meter per second. And we're going to square that whole value, divided by 2 times the delta y, which we said was 0 0.5 millimeters. But we need to convert the millimeters to standard units. And my favorite way to do it is to leave the number alone and to change this into what it represents, which is 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. So we have 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. And we can plug that into the calculator now. So we have 1 squared divided by 2 times 0.5 times 10 to the negative 3, which gives us 1,000. So the acceleration for the flea is 1,000 meters per second squared. So that is our answer for part A. So now let's move on to part B. And they say, how long does it take the flea to leave the ground after it begins pushing off? So now we need to look back to the kinematic equations again and find one that has acceleration, velocity, and time. And the one that we'll be using for that, let's change colors here. So we have part B is the V final is equal to V initial. And then we'll have plus acceleration times time. Now for this one, it's the exact same thing as above. Some professors will give this as minus g, uh, g delta t, but I like plus a because it's really easy to see, oh yeah, I need to plug in a negative g for acceleration, but sometimes students get tripped up when you go backwards the other way to a positive a. So now we want to isolate for t in this instance, but just like before, the initial velocity is zero. So now when we isolate t, we have t is equal to the final velocity 
divided by acceleration. So now we can plug that in. We have the final velocity is one meter per second divided by 1,000 meters per second squared. A lot of you could probably do this in your head, but we have one divided by 1,000. We'll just be moving the decimal place over essentially three. So we have 0 0.001. So we have 0 0.001, and that is going to be seconds because if we if we cross multiply these, we have meters per second divided by meters per second squared. So the meters per seconds will cancel, leaving us only in seconds, which is what we want. And you could also write this in scientific notation. So we'll move the decimal place over three. So it is one times 10 to the negative three seconds. So this and this are the same. And that is our answer for part B for how long it takes a flea to leave the ground after it begins pushing off.